operate in such a The military opportunity. bought that. Yeah, stay there. I want to do five more minutes with you guys and, and, and have some closing comments. But but talk about what did Fukushima look like blowing up? What what was it like? Did you see the tsunami come in before? I mean, what was it like? You're an eyewitness to so much of this. It's amazing. Lieutenant Steve Simmons and his lawyer are with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. I'm a news hound. So I read, no exaggeration, scan over probably 300, 400 articles a day. And I have so much back knowledge from interviewing just thousands of guests, radiologists, scientists, members of Congress, uh, historians. It's, just, uh, it's like I've been in college for 18 years being on radio. So... I'm not the smartest guy around, but I have a large general knowledge. Like some good old boy you know next door who's an expert on baseball, and he can tell you everything about every baseball made in the last 100 years. People can get really informed on certain subjects, like the law. Spend decades studying it, you, you get smarter than the average bear uh, when it comes to the law. But I know this. We have a lot of nuclear and atomic disasters going on. Uh, radiation is really, really bad news. We've got a bunch of aging 35, 40-year-old reactors that are supposed to be shut down. And I feel pretty stupid that, you know, if you go back 15 years ago, I was pro-nuclear power on air. Because if they actually ran them correctly and actually warned people when there were occasional problems, 
you could argue we ran out of fossil fuels, what are we going to do? You know, freeze to death in the winter? It, 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 it's a very powerful uh, form of energy. The problem is, is that, look, if there's a disaster, and I've interviewed Don Darling, the head of Veterans for Peace here in town, uh, himself a fa famous uh, Navy captain and, and was a captain of submarines, uh, nuclear rescue teams, you name it, nuclear submarines, and they, he was, he's radiated. He's had all this happen. I haven't talked to Don in years. We ought to get a hold of him and see how he's doing. So he was real sick when I talked to him on air a few years ago. And they ordered them to turn a reactor off and turn it on. They said, well, and they were all engineers. He was an engineer. And they said, we're not supposed to do that. It's going to radiate us. And they said, that's an order, Captain. So they turned it off and then turned it back on and released a bunch of radiation, just literally to test it on the submarine. And Don's told that story on air before. So it's this attitude of the bosses up on top that see sailors and Marines and Army people as animals. And the giant history of secret testing. I remember being a child watching some documentary film. I forget what it was. It was at the movie theater with my dad, and it was about atomic soldiers, or, or, or part of it was. And it showed them having the soldiers sit back a mile away from an atomic blast and then march into the glowing, glowing crater. And it was a death sentence for them. You know, it took them decades to die, but it, it killed them. Autumn had their teeth and stuff fall out, you know, right away and blood come out of their orifices and had deformed kids and the rest of it. But, and I said, Dad, why is that? He said, you know, I asked people when I was working at MD Anderson, why they did, not at MD Anderson, but so many other places the government did that. And he said, because humans are cheaper than monkeys. He said, why don't we just use monkeys? And they said, well, humans are cheaper than monkeys. So that's the attitude. And look, I don't want to do testing on monkeys either. I have empathy. What you'll do to a little animal is you do to somebody else. But it's like everybody cares about the animals but not the people. And it's just another story. Oh, the sailors got radiated and they're bleeding out their hind ends. And, you know, their teeth are falling out and their hair is falling out. And, yeah, there's 14-fold radiation increase in San Francisco on the beach. I mean, big deal. Let's not even investigate that. And there's this attitude that you've got like three heads or something if you care. So I care about this because... It shows the mindset of the establishment. It shows that, that the sky's the limit more and more, and, and they've got these pilots, people on the flight deck. I mean, this is coming out in the news, and no one will give them treatment. No one will pay for it. At least the New York Post, who I was critical of earlier, they reported on this. Guys, closing comments, uh, Attorney Paul Garner and uh, Lieutenant Steve Simmons. I, I mean, how's your radiation sickness now has it gotten better or worse you got to catheterize yourself what's happening to your buddies how many people have joined the suit um well for me the latest thing obviously is now that i have to catheterize every four hours Good you know, i'm i'm also wheelchair 100 percent wheelchair dependent Good so God. i've lost my mobility there and you know it's just i take one day at a time and you know up until up until recently, you know, I really haven't talked to anybody else who has been dealing with any sort of ailment, uh, at least where I'm located. There's one individual that I've come across who's also dealing with some, some issues of his own as well. And then, you know, of course, there are the other individuals, all, all the other individuals that have come forward to Paul. Um, yeah, well, RT reports 71 sailors, many in their 20s, uh, are filing in the lawsuit uh, that your lawyer's heading up. Is that correct, Paul? More. More. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just thinking about the situation. Any other points? No, I'm, I'm, the situation is this. Um, we, we've barely scratched the tip of the iceberg. You're so right in your analysis. They sent the Reagan up to Bremerton for a year and a half to try to take out the radiation from a lot of components. They shipped it all over to Hanford to bury it over there. They sent the Reagan back to Coronado. Then when somebody says, hey, you shouldn't have little school kids going on for field trips on the Reagan, there's probably radiation on it, they determine, oh, we'll send it back to Japan and we can cook it some more. So uh, what I would suggest to you is this. Um, have your listeners consider 
a study that was done uh, back in 2003. Past exposure to densely ionizing radiation leaves a unique permanent signature in the genome. And that was David J. Brenner out of, you probably know him, out of Columbia University. Yes. The Center for Radiological Research. They teamed up with the Russians. And they studied all the people from Chernobyl. And they actually isolate down to the chromosome level what damage was done uh, by radiation as opposed to other environmental hazards that we all confront. So this is going to burst their Fukushima Gate balloon. Because once the people in the know step forward and say, no, enough of this BS, this causes unique permanent damage to our genomes. We're talking about survival as a race, okay? We're talking about survival of the West Coast of California and beyond. Just wait until the people up in Malibu have all that radioactive debris land on their shores this year, and they start, the phones ring off the hook at Barbara Boxer's office and, uh, you know, uh, congressman down here and everyone, oh, what are you going to do about this now? Well, it really worries me that the establishment could care less about anything but partying all the time with their underage pages. Uh, I mean, it, it is frightening to know the type of weapons these, these people have because the honorable folks are the low-level military and police and the general public compared to the people running things. I guess historically we've got a bunch of Caligulas and Neros and, uh, on, on, on power trips. You know, I, it just, it, I empathize with, with, with what's going on with you, uh, Lieutenant uh, Steve Simmons, and I hope you get better. Um, I mean, has the, has the VA told you about any treatments that can try to uh, get the radioactive isotopes out of your body, or have those already broken down? I mean, what's your prognosis? Game. That's what they are, and they got to be compensated. Let me just tell you this, okay, and I'll shut up. Mangano and Sherman, doctors Joe Mangano, the Nuclear Project, and Jeanette Sherman, underscore how small amounts of anthropogenic radiation are lethal and crippling over the short and intermediate term. Human immune systems cannot thrive with permanently damaged thyroid function. You take it from here, Tomodachi. <laughs> well, that's well said. Go ahead. But to answer your question, um, has the VA mentioned anything about it? In fact, nobody has. Uh, nobody's even, due to the fact that nobody's acknowledged that radiation has had anything to do with my failing health, nobody's even talking about uh, potential treatments or anything of that nature. And, you know, in fact, uh, I've actually had, aside from the, the intern who gave me his comment about if it was radiation, I would have seen symptoms long before I did, I've actually had it. No kidding, a doctor say, oh, well, maybe you're better off not knowing what this is. So at what point at what point do I give up all hope with doctors and you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know where to go from there. All we I have a bunch of that. insane scum running things. Look at the GMO crops, look at the fluoride in the water. They are killing us and uh, overwhelmingly it's to reduce population. That's their rationalization. Uh, but in the final equation, they're just a bunch of mismanaging, bumbling boobs uh, who endanger our entire civilization. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on with us. Um, I want to ask your lawyer, Paul Garner, if, uh, if he'd like to give out his legal website or Steve, if you'd like to give out any contact info for yourself or others that might want to talk to you. Sure. Uh, we would invite uh, your listeners or others to contact us at Fukushima Radiation Victims .net. It's spelled F U K U S H I M A R A D I A T I O N V I C T I M S dot net, and we'll be happy to uh, interact with you. And my personal uh, email is P C G at garnerlaw.com. All right, well, good, good job. N-E-R-L-A-W.com. Good job, uh, um, Mr. Anyway, thank Garner. You, thank you, Alex, for shining a spotlight on this, and uh, we'll keep you posted. And I know uh, that uh, I've, I've reached out to Glenn. 
I, I want to speak with him uh, about where he was during the three years before he got tested, where he lived and what, where... Uh, sure, thank you.